Hi there, I'm Jackie. Thanks for joining me today. This is part five in a nine part video series I'm doing on sailboat sea glass mosaics. So for each video, I'm doing one of these panes of glass in this antique window in a sailboat. So if you join me for my last video, I did the blue nose in this pane of glass up here. And today I'm going to do the blue nose two, which is the sequel to the blue nose in this pane of glass down here. And the other thing I did last time, I asked for some advice from you, my viewers, on how to finish the sky in my blue nose piece. And so stick with me because today I'm going to tell you what I decided to do. I'm going to do the same thing in the, both of the skies in these two panes of glass. Mm -hmm. So the Blue Nose 2. If you remember from my last video, I gave you a little bit of history on the Blue Nose, which was this famous sailing ship in Canada. And what happened was it only sailed from 1921 to 1946, which is 25 years. And then in 1963, the Blue Nose 2 was built. And the history on the Blue Nose 2, it was built by the Olin family, which is a beer company or they own a beer company, and they had this beer called the Schooner. And they wanted to build the Blue Nose and then use the Blue Nose to help market the Schooner beer. Now the Schooner beer you can still get today. And I can't give you very much advice on the, on the beer itself because I'm probably not the best beer connoisseur, but I can tell you that what I do like about the Schooner is that it comes in brown beer bottles. And we all know what happens to a lot of brown beer bottles. It turns into brown sea glass, and I love brown sea glass. So I have to be a fan of the Schooner just for that reason. So the Olin family built that ship in 1963 and used it to market their beer, the Schooner. So today I'm going to create the Blue Nose 2 in this pane of glass down here. So let's get started on that. So the Blue Nose 2 was built to look just like the Blue Nose 1. So these two sea glass mosaics are going to look fairly similar because it's uh, two very similar boats. But what I did with the Blue Nose itself when I showed you that one, I depicted the port side of the boat, whereas in this sea glass mosaic, I'm doing the starboard side. So it looks like it's a little bit different because it's coming from a different angle. This was a really cool piece of sea glass that I found in my collection that I thought looked like a sail. So I thought this would be a good one to use for here. So the Blue Nose 2, it's kind of interesting. The Blue Nose was a very successful racing ship. So when they built the Blue Nose 2, they decided that they wouldn't race it. They would only use it for marketing because they didn't want to outshine the Blue Nose record, the Blue Nose racing record. So I thought that was fairly interesting. But what's happened in recent years is the Blue Nose 2 has faced a ton of controversy all over the cost of building it. Now, that brings me to my lesson of the day. How much does it cost to build the Blue Nose? And uh, so what I did was I got looking at some of the history. To build the Blue Nose in 1921, it cost $35,000, which was a lot of money back then. And you know, it's pro certainly more than what $35,000 would get you today. But it was still 35000 And then in 1963, when the Blue Nose 2 was built, it cost 300000 which in 1963 would be a fair chunk of money as well. Although it would still cost you a lot more today to build the same ship. This, was a, this ship, if you ever had the chance to see it, it is beautiful. It's just a massive sailing ship. Um, but what happened was in 1971, the Olins decided that they would sell the ship to the government and they sold it to the government for a dollar. And then the government would use it for promotion and tourism and that type of thing because it's so famous. And uh, then what ha the reason it got into some hot water was in 2013, the ship needed to be totally refurbished and refitted. And they kind of tore everything apart and rebuilt it. And it, they, the quote that they gave was really a lot of money. And then in the end, 
it ended up costing $16 million, which is a lot of money. And even after that, they ran into problems and they still had to spend more money on it. And the final bill is predicted to be about $24 million. And this is all government money. So the Blue Nose has encountered a fair amount of controversy in recent years because of the money the government has spent to rebuild it and refurbish it. But it still exists today. And if you wanted to visit it, you could, if you come to Nova Scotia, go down to Lunenburg. It still sails out of the Lunenburg Harbor and it's part of the, the Fisheries Museum. And you can go down there and you can see it. I've seen it from the dock. It's just gorgeous. But you can also take a ship or take a cruise. They do two hour cruises on the Blue Nose 2 for $68 Canadian, which is a good chunk of money, but I am saving my pennies because I would love to take that trip. I should say I'm saving my dimes because the dimes are the ones that have the blue nose image on it. Someday I'm going to go out on that ship and go for a cruise around the Lunenburg Harbor. So now what to do with the sky? If you remember from my last video, I asked for some advice about what you thought I should do. Thanks so much for all your comments. A lot of people thought leaving the sky blank and not adding anything else was a really good option. So I might consider that. And then I also considered putting white sea glass in for the sky, but I felt like it washed out the sails too much. Hardly anybody thought that was a good option. But quite a few people voted for green, and the green sky is definitely worth considering, although it would be the same color as the water. I had a few suggestions for aqua sea glass, but again, I feel like it washes out the sail, so I know I'm not going to do that. But a few people suggested brown. Excellent suggestion. I hadn't considered that, and I think it looks quite good in brown. And then I thought, maybe if I just put a few pieces of sea pottery in the clouds, just to create a few clouds in the sky, that might work. And then I thought, maybe instead of sea pottery, I could just use big, chunky white pieces for clouds. So my final decision was to leave the sky blank and just put a few white pieces in the sky for clouds. So I did the same thing in the sky for the blue nose too. Just a few pieces of white sea glass give you that feeling of white poofy clouds. So I have five of the nine panes of glass finished and I am going to get this window done. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I have four more to go in this series and I'll get some other videos done as well over the course of the summer. I can't wait to get to the beach and show you some good sea glass hunts. So until next time, I hope you get to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.